tears. I hope you're having a great magical day where you are as I'm having a great magical day where I am. So you recently saw a planning haul video that I did. And in that video, I had talked about wanting to invest in a die cutting machine. Um, I, I make like little uh, card shakers for my planners but I've never made like actual card cards that like you would give out to people, um, you know, custom, you know, uh, thank you cards and get well cards and um, happy birthday cards and, you know, congratulations type of cards. And I've always kind of wanted to dabble in that. And we all know I love Disney. So I wanted to make like Disney themed cards, Disney stationery, and um, things like that. So I've kind of been looking into die cutters and the various ones on the market. And I went and I bought one. And guys, I went with the spell binder. So it's right here. I've already taken it out of the box and examined it for um, any damage. So um, I'll show it to you really quick. I haven't started playing with it or, or anything like that. I, had, I haven't even bought die cutters for it yet. But um, this came with it. It's sealed still, but I'm believing that these are my boards that I use to put my um, die cutters, you know, with my paper. And I'm guessing this I would use for my embossing. Like I said, I kind of have to read through it and um, just, you know, check it out and see all that it can do. And the actual Spellbinder machine, it's heavy, guys, is right here. So it is right there. And I'll open it for y'all really quick. So let me bring the camera down. So guys, here is the actual die cutting machine. You do have a little bit of assembling. The only thing you have to assemble is the little knob over here on the end. They give you the tools to do that. Uh, Dan went on ahead and put a little bit of uh, WD-40 on there for me. So it just does, you know, a really smooth cranking motion. And then this is the handle to be able to carry it around, which I really like because it's portable and I can take it with me. And then of course it opens up on both ends. So I can put uh, the die cutting templates between the uh, plates here, I guess, and kind of just, feed it through and, you know, turn the knob and get the die cutting um, cut out that I want to get. So very portable, very easy to carry. The One of the reasons why I went with the uh, spell binder was because I noticed that it was made with um, solid casting construction. So that is one of the reasons why I chose to go with this one. Uh, the actual interior part of the machine is not made with any plastic. It's actually made with um, metal and uh, less likely to have, you know, break breakage. So that is why I went with this one. And it is the Spell Binder Platinum that I went with, guys. So guys, I'm going to need a little bit of your help because I'm new to the world of die cutting. My next machine, so you see, I purchased the sewing machine. I purchased the die cutting machine. My next machine I plan on purchasing is the Cricut. I think it's called Air 2. Um, I noticed that they sold that one at Hobby Lobby, which what is great about the Spellbinder Platinum uh, die cutting machine I got, guys, is that Hobby Lobby let me use my 40% off coupon because it retailed at Hobby Lobby for $179.99. So I was very grateful that they uh, were like, yes, you can use your 40% off because there's fine print on the coupon that says, you know, you can't use it on certain things. Like you can't use it on the Cricut. So um, I'm either going to go online and buy the Cricut from the Cricut store or go back to Hobby Lobby because they did have the Cricut, you know, Air 2. Um, but I can't use my 40% off coupon there. But I'll probably pick that up in the next couple of months. But as far as needing your guys' help, I know some of you, uh, yes, some of you watch my channel because of life and Disney, as far as Disney, and I know some of you watch my channel because of life, but you know I like to do crafts and I dabble in all of that sort of stuff. 
But this is where I need my crafter's help, if you're a crafter too and you're in die cutting. If you could please help me as to where I can buy Disney die cuts, I really would appreciate it or where I can buy some uh, good you know, quality uh, die cuts and just maybe if you have a YouTube channel and you watch my channel, then maybe you can refer me to your channel to where I can see you doing die cutting. But um, yeah, so if anybody out there can help me with you know where i can pick up you know some die cuts other than just um through spellbound and um i need to make sure that they're spellbound or excuse me spell binder friendly so making sure that those die cuts would work in this machine but i am looking for some disney ones and just some really cute ones too the necessary don't have to be disney but i do i am trying to look for some disney ones i know spellbinder makes one and the puppy dog's got to go out i gotta let her out really quick give me one second i'm sorry guys but when she's got to go she's got to go she can't wait so um what i was going to say about the spell binder is i do notice uh that they do have like die cut templates of a castle in a pumpkin carriage um, and it made me think of disney and i thought about picking up that one but if you know some other sites where i could possibly pick up some really you know good quality um, die cutting templates i really would appreciate it and um, you can leave that down in the comments down uh, below but i have been wanting to like make my own cards like thank you cards i mean guys a lot of you i don't always do um friends mail on my channel but um some of you have become great pen pals with me and i always like to like send you a thank you card or even just send you something in the mail um and i always like to include a card with it and right now i buy my cards and i try to buy disney themed cards or make my you know or just buy cards and then decorate Rate them up with Disney stickers, but I really would start would like to start making like my own stationary Disney stationary and Disney um, themed uh, cards, like I said. So that is one reason why I invested in the Spellbinder. And then the next thing, like I said, is the Cricut Two that I'm or Air Two, I believe it is that I'm looking at. So if you own the Cricut. Air two, I hope I'm saying the name right. Um, let me know, leave a comment down below and let me know if you like that. And then again, if you have a YouTube channel um, that you use the Cricut on, I would like you know to know so I could head over there and watch uh, your channel as well. So guys, I just wanted to share with you the purchase that I made today. Like I said, it's the Spellbinder die cutter um, machine and I'm looking so forward to using it. And hopefully you follow me on social media because that's where I would probably post like my little crafts that I'm exploring and trying, you know, to do. So if not, you can um, hit the little icons um, at you know on my main channel that would take you over to my Facebook Life in Disney and my Instagram Life in Disney because I do that's my two primary places that I do post a lot. So guys, if you're not already a Life in Disney Mouseketeer, you can feel free to hit that little subscribe button down below. And if you are a Life in Disney Mouseketeer already, hi guys, thank you so much for stopping by at Life in Disney today and taking time out of your busy schedule to watch this video. So till next time, y'all take care, y'all have a magical day and a magical week, and I will see y'all later Mouseketeers, bye.